Day is officially underway at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway as we race toward the 100th running of the Indianapolis 500. The track also getting some major upgrades and a facelift to welcome race fans this year. Carrie Klein joins us from the Speedway with a sneak peek. I am sitting high above the Indianapolis Motor Speedway and one of 17,000 very comfy brand new stadium style seats. And this is just the beginning of the exciting new upgrades that will greet race fans this year. IMS President Doug Bowles gives us a sneak peek of some other things you can enjoy. It's going to really open up the entryway for fans that are coming in. So where before we'd have six or seven gates coming in through gate one, we now have 18 gates here through gate one. But it's also going to be a great gathering point for folks to meet. So we've got a whole plaza. We've got the bricks that people have, the commemorative bricks out here, so people can see all year round instead of having to wait to come inside. A lot of benches. In the, one of the things we've always heard from our fans is there's no place to sit when you come out of those grandstands. So places to sit and gather. And we think it'll be a lot better uh, for folks when they're not in the grandstands. And there's a real famous photo of, a, of one of our historic drivers before the track was built looking at it in sort of a chalk rendering so we did that out here as well so fans can sort of have that throwback to what happened in 1909. And we've got six brand new uh, staircases so that should help for it especially when the race is over instead of waiting to go down a staircase or an elevator we have a lot of a, a lot of ability to move people now. If somebody with a wheelchair before could never get up here so now we have an opportunity to get them up here to this level. When folks come up the elevators not only are you going to see brand new seats but if you need a wheelchair you need some sort of ADA accessible seating this is one of the platforms that's going to allow an accommodate for those folks to come up that, that need some ability to uh, come up and have something like this. And some of the con best conversations I've had in the last six months are with folks who have to have a wheelchair, who haven't been able to come and sit up here and they can't wait. And tearful conversations of people saying, I can't wait to get to the speedway and see it from seats I've only dreamed about. So what we've done is replaced all the folding green chairs with, the, with stadium seats, cup holders, armrests, um, kept the green that everybody thinks about for the, from the speedway standpoint. Uh, outstanding view of the racetrack, pit action, um, downtown skyline. It is, it, these are unbelievable seats, but this is an opportunity for somebody to have some hospitality here without having to get a full suite. It's got an indoor-outdoor bar. I just, it's going to be a really great location for, for folks to enjoy the Speedway in a, in a way they've never enjoyed it before. Those club suite seats are $1,700 each, but that includes the whole year of events here at the track, including the Angie's List Grand Prix weekend, events leading up to the Indy 500, as well as other racing events here at the track throughout the year. Now back over here in stadium seating, take a look at the beautiful view from this area, not only of the track, but of the beautiful skyline of downtown Indianapolis. Now these seats are sold out for the Indy 500. However, if you're coming up for the Angie's List Grand Prix or for any of the events like the qualifying rounds or carb day leading up to the 500, you can come up and enjoy the view from these seats at those times. So lots of exciting changes here to greet race fans for the month of May. Back to you.